tick charts versus time charts. Which one is better for trading? Today, we're going to talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of a tick chart and why you could possibly use a tick chart when trading. Going to break it all down right here in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. Yeah. What's going on guys, Patrick here. Today we're gonna talk about tick charts and why I use tick charts when I'm trading. And we're gonna talk about why I believe tick charts are a better tool when day trading futures, when day trading the market, and kind of just like the idea of how a tick chart is different than a time-based chart. This is actually being made to answer one of my subscribers question. So hopefully you're watching this video and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know what to do. Tune in at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. We'll be live right here on YouTube. Also yesterday I made a video talking about this same exact setup. It happened again today, the Fibonacci retracements. If you guys wanna watch that video, I'll put a link down below. But you can see basically drawing the Fibonacci's here. We got this push up, where's that pullback? We got the pullback into that golden pocket and then look at that move higher. In the past, I would have 100% thought that this was a short. I would have been like, oh, I'm getting short here. But all I need to do is just put that fib on there, and now I know. Hey, don't get short until we break below that 0.786. So you guys can see what I'm talking about here in this video can be used in actual day trading. So let's actually talk about the tick chart now. All right, so first things first, what is a tick chart, and how does it work? So you can see here on the chart right now, we have all these little candles. Each one of these candles represents 1,000 ticks. What is a tick? So a tick is basically every time the price is moving up, down, up, down, it doesn't matter about the volume. So if I sell 1,000 contracts, it's still only one tick. So the ticks are the actual moves in the market. It's actually showing the moves. The one thing that I really like about the tick charts right away to explain here is that if there isn't a big move in the market, you're not gonna get a lot of candles printing. So when the market's going sideways, you start to see these candles going kind of slowly, like they're slowly moving, right? They're not really printing, there's not a lot of action because there's not a lot of ticks. Where with a time-based chart, you know, no matter what, the candle's gonna open, it's gonna close, no matter how much volume, no matter how many trades are made, that five minute candle is going to open and close at five minutes. So when the market's not making a big move or the market's not strong or weak, whatever, the time-based chart is still you know, giving you information, but with a tick chart, you're only really getting information of actual sales, actual buy, sells, buy, sells, buy, sells. Right now, this is a perfect example. See how this is barely moving? It's not really doing much. You know, The price is kind of sitting right there because we're not getting a lot of action right here. The market's slowed down, and now we're kind of just sitting right there. The ticks are kind of showing, you know, do, 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 but we're not getting a lot of action. Just kind of printing there slowly and not really a lot of action coming through here. So we're not getting a lot of prints. And that's telling me that we're at an area of consolidation. It's telling me that like, hey, you know, we're not getting a big move right here. We're just kind of consolidating because we're not getting a lot of candles printing on the chart. Now, if we look at the five minute chart here, it looks totally different, right? Like this looks totally different. You got that move up, you got a lot of wicks, you got a lot of chop, you got a lot of wicks on a lot of these candles. There's a lot of wicks. Where with the tick chart, we don't really see those wicks because we're getting that actual price action and we're getting it like this. So when we broke above that 20 level, we got and you can see, you know, green, 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 getting a better picture of the actual price action. Instead of looking at the five minute chart, getting that push up, all we got was this candle here, we pushed up above the 20s, the next five minute candle opens, and all we have is this big wick. Now, based on the five minute chart, this would have obviously been a good short entry, seeing that big wick closing there, but as well, if we go over to the thousand tick chart, we can see, you know, we started to get a lot of action. So this is giving me an edge as well to the fact that, as you can see this consolidation level, right there at the 21s, what do I do? I can get short, if we break below this 21 level, I can get short there because I can see it's kind of consolidating for a second, consolidating, and I have more information, right? I have that information right in front of me instead of just looking at this five minute chart and all I see is a wick. The market's pulling back, but I don't really see that consolidation level, so I don't have an entry. If this breaks, we're holding that level, if that 21 level breaks, I can get short there, all right? So that's giving me an advantage, giving me more information through this move. Instead of just having one big candle, 
I get more information during this bigger move. And now you can see the market is trying to push back up. We're getting more candles printing. So these candles can go faster and slower based on the actual action in the market. And if these candles aren't moving fast, like if they're not print, 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 moving, then that means we're consolidating. It means that we're not really making a move here. So that's telling me like, hey, this is not where I want to be getting in or, you know, this is not my trade yet because we don't really have that action that I want to see for this move. And the tick charts in general normally are going to give me a better just kind of harmonic balance in the sense of, you know, you get the move up, you get the move down, you get the move up, you get the move down. It's a lot cleaner to see the highs and the lows on these moves. So you can see the market accelerated through this move and then found support and then kind of went sideways and then it started to accelerate to the downside again. Where if we go and we look at the five minute chart from this, let's say I was short here. And if we look at the five minute chart here, we can see there's a wick on the top of that candle, the big sell through, but we're not really seeing that the market's accelerating. We're getting more printing. It's not as obvious, right? Like we see the pullback here, but we're not seeing that. Wow. Like there's a lot of selling pressure. There's a lot of fast prints. We're getting a lot of action through this level. So it's giving me confirmation when I start to see these candles really printing fast, starting to move that we have a good good move we have good action there in the market so again it's giving me confirmation so that's one thing that i like about the tick charts is it's giving me confirmation that we're getting that actual move through that level there's an old saying in the market that the market doesn't move in time that the price is not moving based on time that the price is moving based on buyers and sellers so when there's a lot of buyers a lot of sellers you're going to get bigger moves in the market when there's less buyers and sellers you're going to get you know sideways action because there's not like a clear direction. There's not that clear trend. You can see here looking at the tick chart, it's very clear, much clearer, much better moves. So let's see like this move right here. We got long at that 18 level. If we go to the five minute chart, I mean, it's literally like, you know, you don't, it's much different picture, much different picture looking at this on the five minute chart compared to the tick chart. So if you're trading futures, especially if you're trading through the top step combine, I would say that you should probably put, you know, the tick chart on there. Do I only use tick charts? No, I have multiple time frames pulled up. I have the three minute time frame. I have the 30 minute, the 15 minute, the hourly, the daily. I'm using time frame still, you know, time, but for my entries. And then once I'm in the trade to have that confidence to hold, I'm using the tick chart because I can see like, Hey, look, this is I'm, I'm long. And this market's really just squeezing. It's really squeezing up. We're getting a lot of action, a lot of ticks printing. So that's giving me confidence that I am on the right side of the move. It's giving me confidence that we are getting a good move, right? I'm getting that action. I'm getting that confidence that their tick chart is painting a beautiful picture of the actual price action. The tick charts really representing the price action much more than the time-based chart where the time-based charts will give you a lot more kind of fake outs you'll you know yeah you five minutes of information but you don't know for sure like hey like what happened during that five minutes of time did the market just kind of consolidate Did the market you know what really went on during that five minutes of time is there a lot of buyers coming in are we accelerating are we decelerating right now we're decelerating because where are we at we're at that support level if we go over here to the five minute chart we can see that we're kind of just consolidating right now at that that level there but again you know we have wicks 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 it's definitely a lot choppier you know not as clean but to the thousand, it's like, well, simple. Okay. I see that we have this little high here, you know, we're starting to roll off here. There's a good chance that we start to go, go, go. We can break through that 10 level and get down to that 004, 03 level next. So that's one of the reasons that I really like the tick chart is just giving me a better picture of what is actually happening because we're only getting the actual buys and sells. If there's no buys and sells, there's no candles printing, right? If the market doesn't move, these candles don't move where with the time-based chart, those candles are going to open and close no matter what, based on five minutes, based on one minute. So you're always going to have those candles printing no matter what, even if there is no buys and sells, you know, it's going to look like not much going on, but the tick chart is only going to print when there's actual buys and sells happening right now. You can see, here we go. We're pulling back and look at this move. If I'm short, let's say I shorted here. Where's my stop. I can stop there at the 16s. If I go over here on this chart, the range is much bigger, right? Like the range is like all the way up here to the 17 is the high of that candle. So let's say I'm shorting here. Where's my stop at? My stop's got to be at the high of that previous candle, right? So I'm risking much more because let's say I shorted here at the 13s. I've got a risk off the 17s where if I go over here to the thousand tick chart, I can risk off the four. I can short here 
at the 14s, and then boom, I've got a much better risk to reward as well. That's one thing that I will say about the tick charts is you're getting more information, you're having less, you're having less range. The candles aren't going to be you know huge up and down because you're going to get those candles printing, and it's going to give you better interest. Say I'm getting long here, you know I'm only risking off the bottom of these candles, so I can get long here, okay, a little push up, but over here on the five minute, it's like okay, if I get long here, like where's my stop at? Uh, down here at the 09s, maybe the 11s. Not as clear of a picture if I'm trying to get long here. Let's say I'm getting long at the 14s here on the five minute. You know, my stops down here at the 10s, maybe, maybe the 11s. But on the thousand tick chart, if I'm getting long here at the 14s, my stops there at the 12s. So I'm risking less because I can see where the bottom of those candles are much clearer than on the five minute chart. So hopefully that paints a pretty good picture of why I'm. So hopefully that paints a pretty good picture of why I'm using the tick charts for my trading, the idea behind tick charts and why I see a benefit. You know, I still think there's value to having, you know, time frames, 30 minutes, the three minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, having those up. But I think the tick chart really gives you a better idea of what is going on with the market at that exact moment. You know, having that momentum kind of, it's almost like a momentum indicator. If you're getting a lot of candles printing, it's like, wow, that's momentum. You know, the market's moving in that direction. Also, again, you know, the risk to reward. You can get better risk to reward based on the lows of candles, the highs of candles, if you're short or long with the tick chart because you don't have a range. A lot of those five minute candles, you know, 15 minute candles, they can have a really big range, a massive range there, where with the tick charts, you're gonna have much smaller ranges in the sense of like, look at these candles. Like they're never like, you know, huge, like up and down candles. Like they're normally, you know, just do, 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 showing you that price action as it's happening. So, you know, if I'm getting short here, it's like I have a much better idea of like, okay, I wanna put my stop above these last two candles. That's normally like my entries and exits. Like if I'm entering here and the market moves lower, okay, I'm putting my stop, you know, to the high of these candles and then I'm moving my stop down as this moves. So gives you a better overall risk to reward based on, you know, not having as large of a range in those candles especially with the thousand tick chart because it's going to be a little bit cleaner. I think it's a little bit cleaner comparing the thousand tick chart with the five minute chart. But again, you know, I'm still looking at multiple time frames, but I'm using the thousand tick chart to really kind of be like, okay, here's my entry. Here's my exit. This is what we got going on. This is what we're doing. All right. All right. So if you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button, I will talk to you guys later on. Yeah.